Wapakoneta boys swimming claimed the Division II district title at Bowling Green last Friday. Senior Charlie Sutton is making his fourth trip to Canton, and this year he's competing in four events. Sutton won the 50 free and 100 free at districts, and he's also swimming on the state qualifying 200 and 400 freestyle relay teams, which both set school records in today's action day one of the state meet. As I found out in this week's OIO prep profile, Charlie is swimming with confidence heading into his final state meet. And for day one, for Charlie, he plays fifth in the 50 free, so he's in the A final in tomorrow's action. I'd never won an event at districts before, so it was pretty, pretty cool to win an event. And then obviously the whole team getting to win districts, that was a big thing for us. So really exciting. Qualifying for the state meet all four years means that Sutton knows what to expect at Brandon Natatorium. It's really competitive, but it's also just a lot of fun. You know what kind of competition you have going in, as long as you can just go and pull out like a hard swim, you'll be good. What makes Charlie successful is he's a competitor. I mean, I always tell our assistant coaches that it doesn't matter. He kind of swims up to the competition, and when it's on the line, he, he, he just refuses to lose, and that's what I like about Charlie. He's very, very competitive. On those final sprints, Charlie is a sight to see with a will to touch first no matter what it takes. The coach is thinking it's just because I don't want to lose, but I just can't get my stroke turnover to go up until after the, after the first 25. It's just something I can't do for some reason. That competitiveness, that's what drives him to come to work every day and, and, and to practice hard because he always wants to give out his best effort, and that's what makes him a great racer when it comes time to race. Um, we've been doing a new training technique the entire year that's more on race pace training, so it's a lot shorter, more sprints and stuff. So, I mean, it's working. I'm going faster this year, so. Sutton is hoping that all that extra work will lead to his highest finish yet, especially in the 50 freestyle. I'd like to place higher than eighth this year. I got eighth last year, so I, top three I think would be cool. You know, he was kind of disappointed last year. He was eighth. He was hoping for a little bit higher finish, you know, and I think that's what kind of fueled him this year uh, going in. He swam really well the last few weeks, so I think that, you know, he sees his opportunity of possibly coming out as a state champion. After high school, Charlie is considering continuing his swimming career in college. Whatever the future holds, the eight-time school record holder has learned a lot at Wapakoneta, both in and out of the pool. It was an experience. This group of people really taught me to like care for other people. They taught me that even if they're not my family, they're still my family, and I can have a family outside of my own family. And just the fun experiences from everything, and it's, it's helped me build my faith in God a little bit more. You know, I trust in God now to help me through these hard events. As a coach, I'm always preaching about being a, be a, a, a best person that you possibly can be. So it's not always just the swim stuff, it's a, being the best that you can be in everything you do. And I think that's gonna be true with Charlie out in the real world. He's gonna get out there and he's gonna give his best effort, whatever it is. In Wapakoneta, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.